everybody. Um, just wanted to give you a brief update. Today is Friday. It's April 1st. Um, I'm going to get myself ready. I'm going to uh, U Chicago uh, to get the catheter removed. Um, and I'll give everybody an update on the way back. But uh, my goodness, it's, uh, it's a day to remember for me uh, to get rid of this catheter. And it's sort of a, a key milestone in this uh, prostate cancer journey as I migrate from uh, being you know, bound to the catheter to being free from the catheter, but then wearing uh, diapers. Um, I have Depends, I got those just in case, and I'm hoping that that is not a long-term uh, commitment, uh, that I'm able to just wear the Depends until, the, uh, until I can get continence back. Um, so I'm hoping that's relatively short, but it's a key milestone. I'll give everybody an update once the uh, catheter is out, but I'm on my way now, just cleaning up. Um, and, you know, for those that have just started the journey, um, the day that you'll have your catheter removed will come and it'll come quickly. Um, but the good thing is, is that while you have the catheter in, um, you're giving your body time to recover, right? That there's a serious um, uh, wound inside of you, right? And that's where they had to uh, remove the prostate gland and reattach the urethra to the, to the neck of the bladder. Um, with sutures. So that's all healing. And, um, you know, there's some doctors out there, I've seen some surgeons advertise uh, a four-day catheter journey. Um, I've seen uh, folks that say they've had a catheter for two weeks. So it really depends. Um, the one that was a four-day journey, that looked like it was a different type of suture. They used a different kind of a thread. Um, and if I can find that video again, I'll put it on the, uh, on the channel. Um, but with my doctor and my surgery, it was in, in scheduling. Um, March 23rd was my surgery, and now it's the 1st of April. And no fooling, not, not an April Fool's joke, but it is coming out today. Uh, so it's, it's over a week and a couple of days. Um, but I finally feel, you know, looking at the, at the urine in, in, the, in the catheter bag, um, it's gotten less and less uh, bloody, uh, less and less type of blood clot material in the bag. A less and less leakage and in, in, you know this morning I had a bowel movement I didn't notice any kind of a blood uh, uh, in, in the bag um, and it's and that's a good sign that means that 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 area has has gone through a, a good healing process and I did want to give everybody an update about bowel movement and the catheter so I'm gonna do another video on that and it's gonna be called Andre the Giant um, and you'll you'll understand why when you see the video um, and again uh, give you a little bit of a clue. Um, there's a way to, to have a bowel movement the western way and there's a way to have a bowel movement the eastern way. And I have transitioned from the western way to the eastern way. It, uh, it does involve some cleanup post activity because we only have western bathrooms here but uh, um, tune into that. Okay thanks everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye.